All right. In the last session, we have seen creating the environment variable through .env file, and we have seen how to load it and how to use it. So now there may be a scenarios that last time we discussed, there may be a plenty of environments, like you may be having queue environments, prod environments, stage environment, right? So how do you handle that? Okay. So to do that, so let's try creating a folder and we call it as config. Okay. We'll push this to inside of framework and move your this environment file to here. Okay. So close everything. And now rename this to let's say .env.qa, right? Same thing, you create one more file dot env dot dev. Okay. Same thing, new file dot env dot let's say stage. Okay. Copy paste the same contents of here to dev and to stage. Okay. Just to, to see if it is working fine, let's give the browser as Firefox here and Chrome is stage and the environment Firefox, Chrome and Edge should be fine. Okay. Uh, to understand it's even better, let's say laptop. Let's give this URL here. Okay. Just to make sure that we are, go we are you know, the correct URLs are being picked up. That's it. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to pick up. That's okay. And for stage, let's talk about phone. Copy this and paste it here. And for dev, let's take uh, show. Okay, let's take a look at this special. Anything is fine. Okay, so now we have three variables. I mean, not sorry, three files. Okay, dev stage and QA. So now the user selects QA, this file should be loaded. And if you select stage, this file should be loaded. Okay, so now go back to your uh, core lib. Okay under the core lib go to your spec file okay how do we load the specific file right okay. keep the cursor over here dot env dot config we will be having an option called path so remember last time i told you that okay we should keep our environment file at the root level so that it will pick it up that's fine by default it will take it from there you can also provide your own customized path for example if you say control space there are plenty of options path okay so from which path you want to pick it up okay okay that's fine i want to pick it up from the uh, let's say config file from the config file but how do we pass dev qa stage on runtime right that will be the one more challenge okay so to show you okay here I will say npm test. Okay, npm test. I will say hyphen hyphen env equal to let me say stage. Let me say stage. Stage. I will keep the process, uh, keep the debug point over here and try to hit enter. And I will show you there will be a one npm config value that will be written with this one hyphen hyphen env. Okay, so let me show you that. Okay, so now process.env, debug console, expand it. You just go, go to the top, you should be able to find this value. Able to see? npm config env. That means in the process.env dot, okay, if you say npm config env, the value that you're passing from the command line, you will be receiving it. So what what will happen with this? That means, so see here, if I say path, okay, path, what I have to say, I have to get the 
path, right? So definitely I will say config, config, config slash, okay, dot env dot, okay, this will be process dot, process dot env dot, okay, so this one, uh, which one? The npm config env, right? Okay, that particular file will be loaded, okay, which is simple, okay, but this relative path it will be challenging so what i will do process dot current working directory current working directory or else you can say dollar current working directory that's it okay so let's try debug uh, uh, what we can say evaluate it and see if it is working fine you see here so c colon this particular project and followed by config file right config file dot env dot stage okay so now we have to run it again because we have changed the code so say control c control c yes so now what we are passing stage right so in the stage what did we mention we have mentioned chrome and we have mentioned such pages phone okay let's try let's try that and see i have removed the debug point Now it should go to the uh, this look this URL, okay, and it has launched Chrome. You can see it has taken to the phone also, which is very good. Because that is what we are expecting, right? Okay, so now everything is same. I mean, from the other level, we did not change anything. Only in the beginning, we have changed, right? So you can see it is working very well. Okay, to test it, let's try running the same thing in the other environment. Okay, so this will pass. We are good. Okay. This will pass. We are good. Now let's try to run it in the, uh, let's say QA, right? If it is QA, edge should be launched. Okay. So hyphen hyphen NV equal to, I will say QA. Okay. Now let's see what will happen. Now this time edge should be launched. You can see edge has launched. You can also see this particular uh, you know route that it has taken. I mean URL that we have formed. The same thing it is taking. Okay. So you can see laptop it is searching and the, the the reason why URL I have changed is just to show you that it is picking up the URL from the right file. Okay. So this is how you can uh, we can say. this is how you can do the uh, multi-test environments okay you can have multiple environments and then you can pass it from the command line okay so remember in some cases if you have to pass multiple things we may have to use the other npm model which is cross environment okay so but i have found out this hack where if you pass the environment hyphen hyphen environment that will be stored under the npm config environment so which is helpful for us so we don't need to use the uh, additional npm cross cross env npm package over here okay but what if you say for example i want to pass browser dynamically from the command line in that particular situation we do not have any alternative we cannot pass one more thing saying that okay browser i will pass it is not possible okay somehow it is taking only for the environment if you want to pass the browser also so as i said earlier you have to use the one more package that is called as cross env npm module okay so i hope it is clear and you can implement the same thing in your project also running the things in the multi-test environments thanks for watching in the next videos we are going to see reporting part also okay thanks for watching